Coming up, we painted Christmas trees from the dollar store, pink and aqua, and we threw paint at the brick wall. I went to the dollar store again. This is what is going to happen next. We're gonna paint it aqua. I don't love messy. This week we celebrated Thanksgiving. We shipped several hundred boxes of our new paint and we did some dollar store decorating. I'm about to touch a cookie. <laughs> and grandpa got a little feisty. You're gonna see that coming up. When Debbie said to do this, I didn't know what she was talking about. Going into Dollar Tree because they are supposed to have some little white trees and I might also hit up this one since they're right next door to each other. We ran over to the dollar store and I got a bunch of white Christmas trees. The dollar store and five below are right next door to each other. So I snapped up as many as I could because I saw Christy from the turned leg painting her Christmas tree pink. It was super easy and super fun. Wait till you see this. I'm gonna link Christy's video in the description because she goes into a lot more detail. But basically I took the cottage colors and I squirted in some of our new darker pink in Painterly. I diluted it with water and I put it in a spray bottle. And it covered this tree so quickly with hardly any paint. Okay, we are just about to eat Thanksgiving dinner. We have tri-tip, we have ham, we have turkey. It's the trifecta. And then these are keto cookies and desserts right here. Are you concerned that you're gonna run out of room in your stomach before you get to try everything? No, I'm just gonna get extra round. <laughs> If you touch those cookies, Rita is gonna. Rita, I'm about to touch a cookie. Ellie, what the heck? Oh my gosh, she's like, you. <laughs> Here is our Thanksgiving table. I'm looking at it through the window. There we go. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day was wonderful, but the week itself was extremely chaotic. We have been waiting and waiting for this giant shipment of paint to come in. And we've been emailing and it's been stuck in customs. So the day before Thanksgiving, I'm just sitting on this couch right here, sipping my coffee in my PJs. I get this text message and it's the truck driver. It's, hey, we're down at your store right now. We got six pallets of paint. I just begged him, please don't go. Please don't go back to LA. I can be there in 15 minutes. I flew out the door. I had just taken one bite of my bowl of cereal and I just threw it on the counter. And when I got there, there were six massive pallets of paint. Don't you have anybody to help you? Not yet. I didn't know you were coming. And they laughed at me. Ellie and I started packing boxes as fast as we could, but first we had to do a test box to make sure that they would arrive safely. Ellie, what are we gonna go do? We are going to go throw this as hard as we can at the wall. <laughs> and why? Because we need to test this out. <laughs> We're taking a typical box and we are hurling it at the wall. This is called quality control. Okay, do it again, Ellie. We're gonna hurl it. <laughs> and then we're gonna we're gonna open it up. Oh my gosh, she's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do for you to make sure your packages arrive safely. <laughs> Grandpa, what are we doing? We're doing something crazy. Why do you think we're doing it? To prove that you pack it good. Yeah. This is what most boxes go through when they ship. So for your holiday season, this is what you need to do before you, <laughs> before you ship. My mom used to work for the post office and she said that little boxes are most vulnerable because they're on the conveyor belt and they get sandwiched in between giant boxes. Do you think we've beat it enough? <sighs> That was a good workout. Let's test it out. Okay. In the last video, my dad was building a custom Christmas tree for my sister's tiny house to fit in this little corner. I came up with a really cool design, but my dad was not very happy about making this thing. I needed to work from home on some other Christmas trees, so I was sending him text messages, and he was resistant, to say the very least. I went to the dollar store again. I had to get another one of these. I got this one yesterday and painted it pink. It was so easy, it took hardly any paint. I decided that I wanted to try and do one aqua. You go to the store called Five Below. 
there's the name right there, five below, comes like this. They have silver ones, they have white ones, green ones. You need the white ones. We're gonna paint it aqua and maybe ombre it. I don't know. I also got, this size is $2 and this size is a dollar. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of pastel colors with these. So when you get your box and it looks like this, you know what it's been through. Hey, I didn't do it. No. Our tubes are tested not to burst. So here's the big reveal. Are you nervous? No. You think it's okay? I know it's okay. okay. Better delete this if it's not. Here we go. Oh there. shit. <gasps> Oh no. This is my bowl of cereal. It's been sitting on my counter since about 8.30 this morning because I got a call from the truck driver saying, hey, we're down at your store with six pallets full of paint. It's now eight o'clock. Boy, that was tough. It is Black Friday. The skeleton is still there. We are here early to pack all the hundreds and hundreds of boxes to ship painterly out to the retailers. Grandpa is on his way. This is the aftermath of the pallets. Six massive pallets, six feet high. And it's time to pack. By the time the day was over, I could barely move my body. This is a mid fifties body right here. And it was doing things that a 20 year old should do. That's how it started. And it proceeded to be five solid days of shipping hundreds and thousands of tubes of paint to hundreds of people. We have a load make sure you of boxes going. Are you full, Dad? <laughs> Are Absolutely. you ready to roll? Oh, man. Be careful. How do you feel? How do I feel after Thanksgiving and now packing? <laughs> You're burning off the turkey. <laughs> burning off the turkey. <laughs> Next door to Five Below is the Dollar Tree. Hide it. I got one of these plastic tablecloths because the only thing about this is it's super messy. Like it sprays all over the place. And then I got a bunch of spray bottles for a dollar because I don't want to have to keep cleaning out the bottles. So I got six of these. I'm going to take these two colors, Dreamville and Peacemaker, or maybe just one of them, and Mint Chip. And I am going to paint this tree. I don't know why I'm holding up the brush because I'm going to use a spray bottle. But this is what is going to happen next. I put a little bit of white swan and some Dreamville in the spray bottle. Then I added water, shook it up, and sprayed the tree. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I have the tree kind of wrapped up in the plastic tablecloth that I got at the dollar store. I am just gonna spray inside like it's a bag and see if I can do that because the spray went everywhere with the pink tree. I'm too lazy to try and like tape up and make some kind of spray paint tent. All right, here we go. Oh, see how easy it is, you guys? Look at it. It just totally does it. Just spray it. Look at that. Easy. Love easy. I don't love messy. So while we're at it, we might as well paint one of the little trees while I have this color out. So I'm just gonna get this little one in here and spray it. I tried painting it with a brush and it made the paint fling everywhere. But look at that. So aqua gorgeous. How cute. Hardly any paint needed. You might be wondering what we did about the paint breaking open in our test box. Oh no. There were, there were 48 tubes in the box. Out of the 48 tubes, only one had broken. It broke right up here. We discovered that this is the strongest point of the tube. From then on, we packed them with their heads facing toward the walls of the box. We just decided that we were gonna continue on with our process, but place the tubes differently inside the box. What are you working on? Shh, don't tell. It's a surprise gift for Danielle. It's her Christmas tree. Jamie Ray's cottage colors, gray skies. Who made that cool thing? Mr. Beard. Mr. Beard. The dad. He's the always old dad. He's yeah. awesome. He's always working. He can make anything. Hello, it's Ginny. It's my turn to work on Danielle's Christmas tree. I'm going to paint these starfish some beachy colors using some of the painterly and some of the DIY paint. First, I'm going to paint them white though, and then I'll put the colors on 
and add a little sparkle. I've painted the other two in the mint chip and I just wanted to show you I'm using iridescent sparkles and they're just painted and lightly sprinkled over the starfish. Et voila! What do you think? I just wanted to give you an inside peek at how we work. My dad is down at the store right now and Danielle's tree is down there. So I am going to text him this drawing. He needs to attach a bunch of branches that Jenny had wound with white lights. Then he's going to bring it over to my sister's house tonight. And I'm going to meet him over there, decorate her trees, and that will be this week's video. I'm also going to send him a picture from my Pinterest board and you can see that I have one specifically for my sister's house. Can't really find a picture of exactly what I want but none of them have greenery on the outside. We're just gonna have to wing it. When Debbie said to do this I didn't know what she was talking about. I sent him the picture of the tree. I called him in the morning. I said dad I'm gonna text you this picture. If you have any questions just call me. At the end of the day, how's the tree going? What tree? I don't know what you're talking about. He said he never looked at this picture. I told him to just take everything back to his house. Later, I talked to my sister and my sister told me that he did indeed remember, but he told her, I didn't want to do that thing unless she was down here helping me. I didn't want to make a mistake. When he doesn't want to do something, he just finds a way to wiggle out of it. He always gives us a project to finish it off and we don't know her vision. And I don't know I, how it'll turn out. I don't out. know her because Jenny was saying something about um, cutting these off. Okay, so we wrapped lights. And there's one side. It's not attached completely yet, but you get an overall feel. My trees are all painted. These are the pink ones. I have a bunch of different colors. Now I am going to flock them. I'm going to use our paint frosting and some of the Jamie Ray pink because I added love language into it. I'm going to mix the paint with the frosting. It blows up into the snowy concoction and then I'm going to spread it on the bottle brush trees and glitter them before they dry. So I always learn something new every time I craft. The pink glitter is not showing up. Instead of using the paint frosting, it's easy enough just to stick a knife in in the white swan and just go across the tree like this. Iridescent glitter will work and I'm just sprinkling it on and that is lovely and it's a lot faster than mixing the frosting. It's not as thick and flocky looking but I got 12 of these. <laughs> I want to move on. Here is what I accomplished. The white trees I never painted. I thought to leave some white was cute, but look at how cute. Now it is time to stage them up. Here is my four foot $5 tree that is now painted with Dreamville. It looks so good. You want to stay tuned for the next video because all of these silver plastic ornaments I got at the discount store and I am going to paint them, make them look like the vintage shiny bright ornaments. And these guys are also dollar store plastic deer. Those will be in the next video as well. So stay tuned, we have a lot of other projects coming up. Including the final reveal of my sister's tree, which obviously is taking a little longer than I thought. We have a fun new workshop at my store in January with five of my creative friends. I will put all the links in the details below. I love you, Madeline. To find DIY paint in your area, or to sell it in your store, or to find all the products used in this video, click the links below. Thanks for watching. I love you, because I like to give an experience rather than just a pretty thing, I'm taking all the supplies to make these creative, beautiful dollar store trees wrapping them up and giving them to a friend. Felt like I was living in a dream From the moment that I felt your kiss